All right, hey y'all. We got our next meeting coming up this weekend. We're really excited about it. Um, this is our second meeting in this eight week masterclass. And in my opinion, probably one of the most important meetings because it's the first meeting after that general protocol meeting where we learn our definition of real food, how to structure our daily eating, all the different alternatives that we can turn to that are made with the right ingredients. It's a lot of new information. So this second meeting I feel like is super important because it's a chance for us to get together and have some really good discussions about what we've been trying to figure out for the first two weeks. And then we start to learn some advanced concepts around what everyone wants to learn about. And that is metabolic flexibility and fat burning, which we call self-sufficiency. Um, now, as we go through this, because we've done this many times and we're already getting a lot of feedback, um, you know, we have people that are on all different ends of the spectrum of diligence and doing things and, and being really good with how they're doing things and then also the changes they're experiencing. So from a diligence perspective, you know, we have some people that are just like spot on with everything and they're doing really well with it. They take to it really well. They're adjusting with their uh, personal life situations and incorporating this really well and then we have some people that are having a really hard time implementing this stuff in their daily life and, their, and the and the family routines and their work routines and schedules and all that kind of stuff um, and then we have people experiencing different things on the uh, change changes spectrum you know so we have some people that like things are just shifting in a tremendous direction and energy levels are skyrocketing and body composition is already changes changing and mental clarity and emotional stability and all the things that we're looking for symptomatic changes we have some people uh, emails say their digestive issues went away and their skin, skin issues are clearing up and that's great. And then we have some people, you know, that are having maybe some subtle changes, they're noticeable, but they're not tremendous. And we have some people that aren't noticing changes at all, and that's perfectly fine. Then we even have some people that are still going through like that initial, what's almost considered like a low carb flu, even though we're not low carb, but just that transitional, just feeling like crap thing where you're low energy and headaches and nausea and feeling like you need to snack all the time and all that kind of stuff. And, um, and we're here to tell you it's all good. It's all part of the process. We're all on our own personal holistic health journey. And the best thing that you can possibly do is just keep moving forward with all this stuff and just keep coming to the meetings and keep learning information. Because regardless of how diligent or non-diligent you are, or regardless of whether you're experiencing tremendous changes, subtle changes, or no changes at all, um, the answer is still the same. We gotta figure out real food. We have to take ourselves through these different experiments. We have to keep learning. And, um, you know, we don't understand how the body prioritizes change, you know, so um, sometimes it takes a little bit longer for people. But we need to keep learning and moving forward because as we continue to learn and move forward, you can't unlearn this information. And over time, you're going to find yourself making better and better decisions and choices. And what you'll notice as time goes on, if you look back, your trend line is always going up. Even if it's at a slight incline, your trend line is always moving up because you can't help but make better and better decisions. Um, so regardless of where you're at on that spectrum, just come and make these meetings, all right? The meetings are dynamic, they're interactive, you start to feel that community support. I think in the beginning, the first meeting or two, people are maybe a little bit shy and uncomfortable, but as time goes on, the meetings get more and more interactive, more and more dynamic, they get more and more fun and heartfelt, and the meetings are where it's at. So if you're in Vegas, try to make these meetings. And of course, we're always gonna send out the video versions of these meetings, but it's not the same as attending these things live, okay? Um, now, the good news is we got some really cool information we're going to cover at this next meeting. So the first part of the meeting, I want to spend a little time just doing a little FAQ and having a discussion about implementing the general protocols. Because again, some of us are doing really well with it, but some of us are struggling. Um, and there's a lot of things that we can talk out to help people figure out how to implement this in their normal daily chaotic lives. Okay, so the first part of the meeting is going to be like a little discussion, implementation, FAQ. Um, and then we'll get into the new information. So, um, of course, I want to talk about what it means to be a real foodie. We've mentioned this just a little bit about how often we want to turn to these approved items made with the right ingredients. But I want to have a really good discussion about what it means to be a real foodie and how that impacts the way that we want to look, feel, and perform. Um, and then we're going to get into the main topic of the meeting, which is um, self-sufficiency, metabolic flexibility, and fat burning, which is really important to all of us. We're going to ta start to talk about things that we can do to nudge ourselves in this direction of teaching the body how to use fat for fuel. Um, around that, we're going to talk about eating and training and what to do pre-training, post-training. We're also going to talk about mineralized hydration and how important that is, not just around training, but just in general. Um, and then we're also going to talk about 
um, uh, supplement recommendations as far as uh, training goes and maybe just some general supplementation recommendations because we've already gotten a lot of questions about that and I think that's something that a lot of people um, have questions about and are really curious about. We don't like to cover it in the first meeting because we want everyone's focus to be real food but then it starts to make a little bit more sense as we start to move through this progression. Um, and then um, we're going to talk about our first fasting protocols. So we've already gotten a lot of questions about fasting and when to fast and can I skip breakfast and how many meals a day should I be eating. Um, you know, in the general protocol, we say two or three meals a day with no snacking in between is what's ideal. But we do want to start talking about strategic fasting and how to incorporate that into the, our way of doing things. And as we move through this progression, we'll get into more and more advanced uh, fasting protocols. Um, and then finally, we're going to talk about the methodology focus for the meeting, which is going to be paleo. All right, paleo is one of the more popular methodologies out there right now. Super successful. There's a lot of things that we love about it. There's a few things that we disagree about it. Um, so we have a little cheat sheet that we're going to hand out and we're going to talk about it and we're going to talk about what we're going to do with the paleo concepts and how we're going to incorporate that into our way of doing things so that you have this bigger, broader perspective on real food. Okay, So super exciting meeting, a um, lot of great information. And again, I cannot emphasize enough how important it is to make these live meetings if you're here local in Vegas. Regardless of what you got going on, make sure that you shift your schedule, move things around so that you can make this hour and a half meeting. It could be the meeting that gives you that one nugget of information that changes everything for you. And remember, regardless of where you are on that spectrum of diligence, you know whether you're doing really good with it or not doing so good, or whether you're experiencing great changes or not experiencing great changes, it's all good. Keep coming to these meetings. Keep learning this information because that is going to be the key to your success moving forward, okay? And there's nothing but love and support here for you guys, all right? We love you guys. Let us know if you have any questions.